from Coastal Crochet and in this tutorial, which is to accompany week 16 of my Seaside Stash Busting Blanket Crochet Along, um, which I'm hosting over on my blog and on Instagram, the links are in the description below, um, I'm going to show you how to do basket weave stitch. Um, and what you see here, the green rows are made up of four rows. And what you're doing is you're combining um, or alternating three stitches of raised treble front with three stitches of raised treble back. And then you carry on and on subsequent rows, you either um, do the opposite or, um, or you do the same, but I'll show you how to do that. So at the end of row 63, um, at the very last stitch, we join with a new color like so. And now we make two chain to count as the first stitch of this next row. And we're doing two chain instead of three because um, basket weave stitch, because you're working around the stems or the posts of each stitch in the row below, the stitches sit a little bit lower than they usually would if you just did an, a row of ordinary treble stitches. So um, we do two chain. And now what we're going to do is do one raised treble front in the, each of the next three stitches. And with a raised treble, all we do is instead of inserting our hook into the next stitch as we normally would, our next stitch is this one here, and we're just going around the post of that stitch. So inserting the hook from front to back, and from back round to the front again, and just working a treble around the stem of the stitch instead of going into the stitch. Remember I use UK crochet terminology and a treble stitch is a US double crochet. So that's our first raised treble front. We're now going to do another one. So just wrap the yarn over your hook as if, as, as if you were working an ordinary treble. And then insert the hook from right to left around the post of the stitch and just work that treble as normal. So that's two raised treble front. And we're gonna do one more. So around the next stitch, instead of crocheting into it, as you normally would, you're just inserting the hook from front to back, round to the front again, from right to left, and then just working that treble stitch. So we've now done three raised treble fronts. And what you can see, what it's done is it's pushed those treble stitches forward um, to the front of the work. And now to create the basket weave stitch, we now need to do a set of raised treble back. So we've done our three raised treble front. And now to do raised treble back, we work it in a very similar way. So yarn over hook, but instead of inserting the hook from front to back, you're just inserting it from back to front, round the stitch to the back again, and then just work your treble stitch as you normally would. Okay, so that's one raised treble back. I'll show you how to do that again. So you can see the next stitch is this one here that we're going, going around. So yarn over hook, and now we're just inserting the hook from back to front, around to the back again, around the post of that stitch, and then just working a treble stitch as normal. That's two, we're gonna do one more. And there we have three raised treble front, followed by three raised treble back. And now we're going to do um, three raised treble front again. So yarn round hook, and then insert the hook from front, round to the back, round to the front again, around the stem of that stitch, and then finish your treble stitch as you normally would. So that's one.
two. And that's three. Okay, and now we're going to do raised treble back. It's a little bit more tricky to do it from the back and what you can do is just hold that yarn in place because sometimes it can slip off when you then sort of put your hook to the back of the work. And we're going from back to front, around to the back again, and then finishing that stitch off as normal. So that's one. Two. And we just carry on like that all the way to the end of the row. Okay, so we're nearly at the end of this row and I'm on my last set of three raised treble back. And the reason it's called raised treble back is because you're basically pushing that stitch to the back by going round it from back to front. This is our last one, raised treble back. There we go. Now we've got our last set of three raised treble front, and this is called raised treble front because by inserting your hook from front to back, you're bringing that stitch forward to the front of the work. So that's one. Two. And then our last one, three. And if you look back along the row, you can see we have our groups of raised treble front, three, followed by three raised treble back, three raised treble front, three raised treble back. And it gives this really nice effect. You can already see the beginning of the basket weave. Um, we've got three more rows to do. Um, in this set to really make that stitch come alive and have the basket weave effect. But in my Seaside Stash Busting Blanket, we are, we are now left with two stitches because we're working with 180 stitches. We had our very first two chain, then we've had our groups of three and that leaves us then with two stitches at the end. And although we've been working with treble stitches, we're gonna do one half treble in each of these next two stitches and that's a US half double crochet. That's where you insert the hook, or the yarn over hook, insert the hook into the stitch and then draw the yarn through all three loops on the hook. And the reason we're doing our half treble in these final two stitches is because with the um, basket weave stitch or the raised treble front and raised treble back, because you are um, working the stitch around the posts from the stitch below, they sit a little bit lower. You can see that the whole row is a little bit lower. And so by working two half treble at the end there, it just balances the row out nicely. So we're now going to go on to our, our next row of this basket weave stitch. So we're going to do two chain. That counts as our first half treble stitch. Turn the work. And now we're going to do one half treble into the next stitch, which is this one, just as normal. And now we're going to start our sets of three again, and we're going to be doing the opposite. Um, so we are now going to be doing three raised treble back in the next three stitches. And just like so, round the back to the front, to the back again, draw through, and then finish the treble as you normally would. That's one. And you can see we're still making sure therefore that the, the stitch is going to the back, but obviously that is now the front of the work there. And I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. But that's our first raised treble back. Our second 
raised treble back and then our third raised treble back. So that's our first set of three and this is what the work looks like from the back and if I just show you the front what you can see now is we have our first two rows of the basket weave stitch um, and you won't really get the full effect of this stitch until you've done two more rows afterwards um, but this is the second row and you can just see the textured effect that it's going to give and so now we carry on and we do three raised treble front around the next three stitches so that's one that's two and then our final one, three. And this is what it looks like from the back. And if we turn around to the front of the work, you can see the effect of the texture we're getting there. And we just carry, that's a little salty, give it a shake in the background. We carry on now um, in this way. So now three raised treble back, followed by three raised treble front and we carry on all the way to the end of the row. So we're now at our very last set of raised treble back at the end of this second row. That's one. That's two. And then one more. And that's three. And then we do one half treble in the last stitch of the row, which was our first two chain on, on the row before. So we just go into the top of the, that two chain, has that counted as our first stitch. And we just do one half treble. US half double crochet, pull through all three, and that's our second row of this basket weave stitch completed. And if I turn the work round to the front, well, what I will do is just do two chain, so that counts as our first half treble of this next row. Now to get our basket weave effect, we have to do the opposite on this next row, row three, um, than what we did in row one. If we continued um, repeating what we did in row one and did raised treble front on these three stitches here, what we would get is um, a nice textured crochet fabric, but it would be all in lines. So these ones would stay raised forward and these would stay um, back. So to get this basket weave effect, what we're doing now is um, the opposite of what we did in row one. So we are doing one raised treble back in the next three stitches, which is around these here which we did raise treble front on in the first row. So raise treble back around each of the next three stitches. So that's one. And you can quite easily see it when you sort of pull the fabric apart. So we now need to go around the back of this one. So raise treble back. That's two. And then one more on this last one here. So insert the hook from back, round to the front, round to the back again, pull the yarn through and finish your treble, whoops, finish your treble as you would, as you normally would. There we go, one, two. And as you can see, by doing that, we're getting a little bit of a texture here, which will become more pronounced um, on the, the fourth row. So now these ones, which were previously on the first row, raise treble back, we're now doing raise treble front. So that's from front to back. Work your treble. That's one. That's two. And 
that's three. And you can see now that those ones have been brought to the front. So just by doing those first two um, sets of stitches, you can see the textured basket weave that we are going to get. And I really, really like this stitch. I think it's really, really clever. Um, so it's one raised treble back in each of the next three. And then it's a set of three raised treble front and so on to the end of the row. So at the very end of our third row now, and we've just got this last set of three raised treble back to do. So we just go and from the back round to the front, back again on this stitch. That's one. Two, one more, and that stitch, and that's our third raised treble back of this set, and the last set of the row. And then we have two stitches left for the purpose of the seaside stash busting blanket. And so it's not this stitch here, because that's actually the one we've just gone round um, the back of. So it's one half treble in this stitch. and then one half treble in the top of the two chain from the row, previous row, because that counted as our first half treble stitch. So it's just one half treble into there. And that is our third row completed. And you can really see now how the effect of the basket weave stitch is working. Um, and it gives the optical illusion of sort of some horizontal stitches going on to get that basket weave effect, but it's literally just by alternating the raised treble front and raised treble back. So we're now going to do our final row of this basket weave stitch, our fourth row. It's made up of a, a repeat of four rows. So two chain, that counts as your first stitch of this next row, and therefore this stitch we do not go into. It's this next stitch along here that can be sometimes confusing. So it's one half treble in the next stitch along because the first two chain counted as our first stitch. And now we're back to a set of three. And on this row, the fourth row, we're going to start with one raised treble front in each of the round each of the next three stitches. So that's one. Two. And our last one here in this set is three. And if we turn the work round so you can see the front, you can really see now how that's going to start looking as we get to the end of the row. So keep going by alternating the sets of three. So we've just done three raised treble front, so now we're going to do three raised treble back. And back of this stitch is like so and then continue alternating with the groups of three all the way to the end of the row and then as before we're now on to our last set of three on this very final row um, and we're finishing with three raised treble front around this final set of three stitches so that's one Two. And our last one here, front around the back, round the front again, and that's number three. And then we've got one stitch left at the end of the row, and we just do one half treble in that final stitch. And obviously that was the chain two that we made. It's always a little bit tricky to notice. I uh, might want to put a stitch marker actually in those stitches to help you to recognize them on these next rows. Got one half treble in that final stitch. And that is our four rows of basket weave stitch completed. And as you can see now, you really get the full effect of those 
rows of um, those groups of three trebles, those raised trebles back and raised treble front, and how they then look like they're weaving in and out of each other. Now we're just doing four rows of this for the seaside stash busting blanket, just to you know give a real feeling of that basket weave. Um, and it's just a lovely sort of textured set of four rows. But if you wanted to carry on to you know make a cushion or or use these stitches in another project, um, you just repeat the four rows that we have done here, um, and then you will see that the the stitches will just continue to look like they're weaving in and out of each other. So that is your basket weave stitch, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for looking.